What is going on guys, it is Kevin from KJ3 Computers, and on my primary account, I did a video of uh, an overview of this PC. This is the Acer Spire AS2100, I'm pretty sure I remember that right. I haven't touched this computer in about six months, and this is like my third attempt at this video. But due to this thing randomly restarting because of a bad power supply, and a bunch of other nonsense, I hope I can actually get through this one. I'm going to do a quick overview. So, we have a DVD drive here. It does have a, a, uh, a port for a 3.5 inch floppy disk drive, but there's a brace that goes under here that I lost, and this is somehow just hanging in there. I don't know how. It's like similar how to this has a brace that goes under and that goes over the uh, speaker here. These are also speakers. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened to the brace, but we have two slots for, I believe it's check here does it tell me no i think it's dimm ram i could be wrong i'm not too sure but anyway we have one pci port which is it can't you can't just fit any old low profile pci card in there because it's specially made for this dual telephone port we have an amd k6 processor i'm not sure what it clocks in at i'm pretty sure around the one gigahertz mark what else am i forgetting oh yes it's gonna be upside down well we have vga Speaker, microphone, three USB, printer port, and PS2 port. Well, two of them, that is. Um, went over the 40 gig hard drive. Just want to show you guys how how loud these speakers are. Finding any sort of information about this was extremely difficult because if you were to look up the Acer Spire AS2100, you're not going to find anything. Well, at least I didn't at the time, that is. But I had to use like third party USB drivers. I use a SciTech Display Doctor to find what graphics card this uses or internal graphics card this uses. Definitely recommend this. If you can't find anything, if you can't tell, you know, if you look up barcodes or anything, you're not finding anything, use SciTech Display Doctor. Works works fantastically. If that makes if that's even a word. I'm going to look at my display here. Appearance. So the max resolution, 640 by 480, and settings, could go up much higher, I don't think, but now resize the desktop, okay. I didn't think that'd work. So we're on a Rage LLC PCI with true color. Let's try 1024 by 768. Ah, there we go. Much better. Yes, I do. Okay. So exit that. Okay. And we could also do the effects and all that nonsense that Windows 98 had. But uh, let me show you guys how good these uh, internal speakers are. Documents. I should have something on here. Let's see here. Music. Uh, I got the Happy Days theme song, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be copyrighted. Okay, here you guys go. Take a listen. Now that is about a quarter of the way. All the way. It's very loud. I'm going to bring the camera a good distance back. My work desk is very dirty. So, here we go. funny how it distorts how loud it gets it's great but I'm pretty sure any normal human being with normal hearing will do just fine at about the three-quarter mark or the halfway mark but anyway there isn't really too much to this video or to this computer that is uh, I do have the shell right there I just didn't want to put it back on because I didn't want to mess up the power supply again and have to go back all the way to square one and that'll do it for this video so we'll talk to you guys in another video